Well, hey there, I'm Keith Farron, and today's Along the Road video looks at a passage of scripture you probably haven't looked at in a long time. I know I hadn't, and it's not one that we look at a lot. It's Zechariah chapter 7. Zechariah uh, is a contemporary of Daniel. He's one of the prophets in the Old Testament, and he was a prophet during the time of the exile of the Israelites in Babylon and then Persia and, and the Persian king at the time is King Darius. And so chapter 7, here are just the first few verses, and then we'll look at the, the questions that get asked in here that kind of stop me in my tracks a bit. So the passage says, In the fourth year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month, the month of Kislev. The people of Bethel had sent Sherezer and Regamelech together with their men to entreat the Lord by asking the priests of the house of the Lord Almighty and the prophets, should I mourn and fast in the fifth month, as I have done for so many years? Then the word of the Lord Almighty came to me. Ask the people of the land and the priests, when you fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh months of, for the past 70 years, was it really for me that you fasted? And when you were eating and drinking, were you not just feasting for yourselves? <laughs> really, three questions bundled up into that little section. One is really looking at these things that we've been doing for years and years and years. It may be uh, something is a part of the way in which we worship in church or that, you know, the order of things that we always do this and then we always follow it with this and follow it with this or how we run youth group or how we um, pray before meals or the way in which we maybe even have our quiet time. But these, these things that, that are, uh, are rituals or habits, you know, they, they probably started with a real focus on, I want to focus on God and I want to honor him with the way that we worship or the way that I read the Bible or pray. And maybe they still are, but I still think that's a good question to ask. Are these things that I've been doing for a long time just a habit, or am I really still striving to honor God with this piece that I've been, this, this habit that I have? Because uh, I firmly believe that habits and rituals can foster that relationship, but they can also just become a habit or a ritual. So looking at those, those things that we do uh, have done for a long time is one. Then he, he kind of asked this two-part question of when, we, when you fasted and mourned, kind of when you sacrificed, when you did something hard, you know, are we doing that to honor God? Or do we kind of like this idea of sacrificing uh, so that we look like somebody who sacrifices, or we look like somebody who suffers for the Lord, or we look like a martyr. Kind of, do we like that? And uh, and that kind of just heart evaluation question. But then he also asked about feasting. You know, when you were feasting, weren't you just doing it for yourselves? And these, do we ever st take time to really look at the things in life that we enjoy, whether it be the, the parts of, you know, church or Bible reading or whatever that we enjoy, but we're just life in general. Do we actually pause and say, okay, these things in life that I really enjoy, am I just enjoying it for myself or am I recognizing the blessing that they are? So uh, as, I, as I looked at Zechariah, maybe you can take a look yourself at these, just, it's just a few verses at the beginning of Zechariah 7 and, and ask yourself those questions about these habits and rituals that you've been doing for a long time and why we do them, kind of our heart check when it comes to the things that are hard uh, or that we endure, and then also the things that we enjoy. Do we stop and give God thanks for those? So Zechariah 7, check it out. 